Sola be replying to certain comments, and this one states, You are not of your father's seed. That particular scripture is referring to all Israelites 20 years of age that were going to war and they were being separated based off of their father's pedigree for war purposes, but they were all Israelites. So the first question, why were they Israelites? What is the status or the origin of being a quote unquote ethnicity or a nationality? Is it based on the father or the mother? The Bible is a patriarchal book. So I don't know what this person is trying to state. Reading on, the Most High's word does not come back void. The Most High is not going to tell you not to do something, but then be double-minded and say, but if you do what I told you not to do, then the child will be whatever their father is. You are what your mother and father is. Now notice this writer states, you are what your mother and father is. They put mother first and then the father. That should tell you something. Reading on, these camps started this lie to justify their interracial relationships. Now, I'm not going to knock that. There are certain camps that do try to justify interracial relationships. But the point or crux of my video was not about interracial relationships. That the seed line is started or the holy seed is the men, the men of Israel, the so-called black man or the Negro. Reading on, a white woman could not give birth to a so-called black child. Interesting. Because her DNA isn't powerful enough and the same goes for a white man or any other non so-called black nation. Only a so-called black woman. There it is again. They're starting off with the black woman and a man can produce a black child. So this writer puts more emphasis on the woman than the father. That's interesting. So now we're at one of my favorite illustrations in the States, Negro. The only people who has no knowledge of his or her true heritage. Black is not a country because it's a corporation, a corporate destination, I should say, or nationality. It's a color, a.k.a. a crayon. What is your nationality? And like I've stated, the nations are based on the man's seed, not so much the woman. And, you know, I'm not trying to be... Uh, sexist or uh, misogynist, whatever the word is, but that's just biblical. So now we're going to be reading from the Holy Bible, the 1611 edition, King James Version of the Bible. So now we're at Tobit chapter 4, verse 12, and it states, Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. Key word, seed of thy fathers, and take not a strange woman to wife, which is not of thy father's tribe, for we are the children of the prophets, Noah, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred and were blessed in their children and their seed shall inherit the land. So the starting point is the man's seed, which is the holy seed. So now we're at the etymology of the word seed. In figurative sense of offspring, progeny, posterity, now rare or archaic except in biblical use. So the royal scepter is referring to the penis, right? Which anything springs late beginning is by late Old English from late 14th century as act or time of sowing. The meaning semen, male, fundicating fluid. So the royal seed is the man's penis. That's the beginning of it all. That's what established the nations, okay? So now we're in the book of Exodus chapter 1 and it states, Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt or Kemet. Every man in his household came with Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zabulon, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob, there's that word again, key word, loins of Jacob were 70 souls. For Joseph was in Egypt already. So now we're at the etymology of the word loin in the states. Late 14th century side of the lower torso of a human body. It also states in biblical translation often used for that part of the body that should be covered and about which the clothes are bound. 1520s hence in symbolic or figurative use with reference to being the seat of sexual vocality and a symbol of strength, the scepter, all right? So now we're still in Exodus chapter one. We're gonna start at verse 16. And he said, 
when ye do the office of a midwife to the Hebrew woman, and see them upon the stools, if it be a son, then ye shall kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she so live. So it's always an emphasis on the son, okay? Because the nations start with that man's lineage, okay? So now we're back at this comment, and it states, You are what your mother and father is. So we're going to go by their standard, what your mother and the father is, okay? So now we're at Genesis chapter 46, verse 20, and it states, And unto Joseph in the land of Egypt were born Manasseh and Ephraim, which Asenath, the daughter of Parotirah, priest of On, bare unto him. Now if we go by what the person just stated, that you are what your mother and your father is, therefore Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh, his sons, were African. They were Canaanites. They were Hemetic. If we go by the terms of what your mother is. But since the Bible is a patriarchal book, it goes by the father's seed. Therefore, Manasseh and Ephraim were Hebrews, Israelites. Okay? So now we're at the Blue Letter Bible. Strong's H6319, Genesis 46, verse 20. Outline of biblical usage. Potipharah equals he whom Ra gave a, a Egyptian priest of On, father of Asenath, the wife whom Pharaoh gave to Joseph. So we have this book right here, The Negro Rulers of Scotland and the British Isles, and it states, Ephraim and Manasseh, who were of the two of the twelve tribes of Israel, were definitely Negroes. Their mother, Asenath, the wife of Joseph was an African black woman, Genesis 48, 1, 13 through 20. The tribe of Judah originated with Judah and his two Negress Canaanites, wives, Bashua and Tamar, Genesis 38, 1 through 30, 1 Chronicles 2, 3 through 4. For centuries, the hybrid Judites intermingled their blood with every other Hebrew tribe, which in turn, here's the key word, intermixed with the Negro nations of Ethiopia, Egypt, Put. Canaan, where the two people became a blend of one people. So oftentimes we have to get out our modern sense of racism or, or you know, what we perceive as colorism in the so-called black community. Because back then in the ancient world, those um, precursors didn't exist. So right here we have an example of a Hebrew Edomite, a so-called white man, and an Israelite, so-called black woman, her offspring, her progeny, an Edomite. A hybrid admixture right you are what your father is regardless of color see the so-called black community we like to lump everyone just because they have the same hue as us that they're so-called black but that's not the case so right here we have Dirk Novinsky and his wife right here to the left and their offspring so in modern terms we would consider these people what mulatto but in biblical terms, you know, these are Caucasians, regardless of the admixture, they are of their father's seed. So Caucasians got melanin too, believe it or not. Bob Marley was a quote-unquote uh, Edomite, a Caucasian father. Now, I'm not going to say every so-called black person doesn't know their lineage, but a majority of ignorant so-called blacks just like to group everyone based on their color or their hue. As we can see, Mr. Bob Marley is a hybrid or a Edomite of color, a so-called black or Jamaican woman and a Caucasian or Edomite father. But what? We're going by skin color, right? So what would we classify him as in modern terms? What? Black? Regardless of the intermixture? Only a so-called black woman and a man can produce a black child. So right here we have a so-called black man and a so-called black woman with their three children. As we can see, the son, you know, the one that uh, looks like Steph Curry, he suffers from albinism, okay? Now, if you just go by the skin gang, colorisms, you'll say, oh, he has some admixture in him. Oh, he's so-called white. No, he's a Negro. We come in various shades. Whether you mix with a so-called black man or so-called black woman so in judges 14 and 3 we clearly we can see this is about tribe not color